Hello, this is Eric Michael. I'm a pre-sales systems engineer with Symantec. Uh, focus on our security products. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about scanning USB drives, particularly thumb drives, when they are plugged in. This is an often requested feature within endpoint protection, um, but it, in reality, it is rarely implemented. So I'm going to show you how to do it today, so if you really want to go there, you can. The fact of the matter is, uh, semantic endpoint protection, the real-time protection, will protect any threats that are on that uh, device when it's plugged in uh, if those threats are touched and executed on that thumb drive. So it's, it really treats the device natively no different than if I had malware lurking, residing on stored in the file system of, say, my C drive, not running, not in memory, not being accessed, but sitting there just, say, waiting for a scheduled scan or something to pick it up. It really treats that external hard drive, that, that, that portal media, no differently. Um, the one problem with doing uh, scans on plug-in of these devices, if I've got a you know large thumb drive, you know 32 gig thumb drive, something like that, and I'm going to pull all that data across that USB port and scan it before I give user uh, the user access to that device, uh, that denies the user uh, you know feasibility if they are in an at need situation uh, and and can negatively impact their workflow. That said, security policies are what they are, and if we want to scan those devices when they are inserted, we can do that. The, today's demonstration is going to give you information on how to do that. Um, let me pull up a slide here real quick, and we'll maximize this out here. Okay, So I'm going to get you the policy. You can see the link here, so make a note of that link here in bold at the bottom here. This is a policy that you can download. This is not created by product management, uh, tech support, or systems engineering. It is provided here for demonstration and a training, you know, a learning tool here only. Uh, the intention is that you would take this and utilize this as a framework by which you would develop uh, your own policies. So here's the link. Let's go ahead and, and grab that. I'm going to go and do a little copy-paste here on this. Grab that. Go over to my browser. Grab a tab here. We'll paste that in. And here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and download that file. It's a small little file. We'll drop it on my desktop here. There we go. Okay. All right, somebody, there's our file, our USB scan uh, DAT file. Let me go over to the policies here. I'm on host integrity, and I'm going to go ahead and add a host integrity policy. Oops, excuse me. I'm going to import a host integrity policy. So let's go um, up a couple levels here. There's our desktop. There's our DAT file. Import. Okay, and there it is. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this real quick here. So under the uh, requirements, we got USB scan and connect and edit this. Okay. So what this is doing, this is uh, going through, it's, it's got a counter built into this thing here. Um, it's setting a registry value here on the machine. Okay. Uh, and then uh, depending on that, uh, it's going to go ahead and run this script. Again, this is not supported by Semantic. It's provided as is for your reference and, and, uh, and training purposes here. Um, it's going to call do scan uh, to scan that device and so forth working through it. So it's a rather elaborate script uh, that's on here. Okay. So let me cancel out of that here. Cancel. Okay. Now let's go over here. So now I'm remote desktop into my target machine here. So here we go. I'm going to go uh, reach behind me here. I'm going to go plug in this thumb drive. We should, should see that pop up. We've not applied the policy to this machine yet. And we see there we've got uh, ICAR. Um, as well as uh, the important text document and the big presentation. So ICAR, for those of you who do not know, is available from ICAR.org, E-I-C-A-R.org. It is the anti-malware test file. So this is an industry standard file. It's not actually malicious code, uh, but it can be utilized to test any sort of antivirus to see if it is picked up. So that's what we're utilizing as our test today. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and unplug that thumb drive from the machine here. Take that out. You should see it disappear there. All right. We'll minimize the remote desktop. We're going to come back here. We're going to take our policy, and we're going to assign the policy. So assign policy. Uh, I happen to know my uh, test group here is where that client resides. I'll hit assign. Yes, I do want to assign it. If I go over to clients and uh, I look at that test group here, okay, we can see there's my USB scan policy has been assigned to it. We'll go back over to our target machine here. Go ahead and open up endpoint protection and just uh, 
so we can watch this happen here. So last update, 11.57 p.m., we're going to go ahead and just run an update just for grants here. Update policy. Um, we should see this time change right here. And there we go. We saw a change there by two seconds. So we know it just pulled down the new policy on our endpoint client. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plug that thumb drive back in. All right. And we see it pop up here. Uh, in our Windows Explorer. And if I open it, the two samples of ICAR have been removed, leaving my remaining documents in place. Um, so again, this has been a presentation showing you how to scan and remove threats from a thumb drive upon insertion. Okay, um, And there you have it. Uh, again, this policy as presented is, is unsupported by Symantec. Uh, use it for your own training and learning new purposes. Thanks for your time. Have a wonderful day.